Howdy, Red Desert Boy here. Hey, I'm out here on the range today, and I'll be taking my P938 Legion with the seven round mags. I'll start off with just five rounds of Federal HST on the target, and uh, <clears throat> then I'll go to be using a nine millimeter 115 grain FMJ and cellular and below 115 grain FMJ. The Federals are 124 grain. Uh, jacketed hollow points and then I will after that I will shoot the steel with the uh, jacketed ammo range would probably be about 10 yards I might try different ranges on this steel at something like you know 10 15 maybe 20 yards targets will probably be just 10 yards P938 is a single action ambidextrous safety G10 grips it's about 17 ounces, if I remember right. It's roughly 5.9 inches overall length. Um, can't remember the height. I think it's, is it 4.3 or 5.3? And uh, <coughs> it has the, um, uh, uh, I think it's the X-ray uh, SIG night sights on it. And it's an all metal gun, of course comes with three seven round mags. Okay, well, let's get started. Get back, get back. Get <clears throat> Top was shooting 124 green Federal Premium HSD jacketed hollow points, and the lower left was shooting 115 green Blazer Brass. Get back, get back, get back.
Sita, Sita. Sit down. Sit there. Sit there. So the top ones, this was from about seven yards. I shot one at the center and I tried to go around the outside four and come back and finish off with two in the center. The bottom ones, I alternated between uh, one target and the other. And at the last, I had one bullet left. I put the magazine and shot that one. So that's why there's eight rounds. Not too bad. That's not too bad. It's a decent, uh, decent spread there. Not a great group. Not bad there. These guys, yeah, close, uh, closer. So, you know, P938. Yep, seven yards definitely is a little more accurate at seven than ten. No doubt about it. But uh, you know, not bad. So after being at the range with the SIG P938 and 9mm, um, you know, it was good to uh, refresh, you know, my practice because I want to use it in my EDC rotation. And um, very accurate gun. Of course, it's only, I think it's a 3-inch or a 3.3, I think it's a three, 3-inch three barrel. It's all metal. It's about 17 ounces. It shoots very well. Um, of course, um, as you get shorter sight radius and barrels, you sacrifice some accuracy compared to a full-size gun. Uh, 10 yards, it's okay. You know, it'd probably um, be fine at, at more distances. You know, you have to practice with it. 7 yards, much more uh, accurate, of course, just like uh, most guns would be like that. You got 7 rounds, and it was uh, so it was good to uh, get a chance to get out here and do some practice with it. So... 
you know, I like it because it's it's probably the slimmest, smallest firearm I have. It's not the lightest. It's probably the Magnum, uh, 22 Magnum 351 PD revolver. But uh, it's definitely small and compact and has a punch. My other ones are that small are, are 380s. So anyway, just, uh, you know, if you need more firepower, probably need at least a Smith & Wesson uh you know, Shield Plus or, you know, um, maybe a Glock 19 or uh, something like that, a Glock 26, uh, something that has the ability to have more firepower, Hellcat Pro. Uh, there's a lot of them out there. So Sig P365. Um, but uh, if you want a full-size one, of course, like the, you know, the SP2022, it's kind of a, it's supposed to be compact, but it's got a 3.9 inch barrel. It's really kind of a full size gun, but hey, you can get 15 to 17 rounds. Plus you're going to get that increased uh, sight radius and barrel length for accuracy. So it just depends on what you're doing with it. So anyway, just wanted to say it was a good day at the range. And uh, as Reed Desert Boy always says, be safe out there, whatever you're doing. Bye now.